What's up? It's your boy, Raiden Kakasuchi, and I'm back with a new What If video. And we're sticking with the topic of Naruto because that's what I've been mostly getting from you guys lately. So, I'm going to be reading off many different, my top favorite What Ifs that I got from you guys, and then we'll talk about it. So sit back and relax and enjoy today's video. What if I get hold on? Give me a minute. I, uh, there we go. I don't know why I sit there all the time. The first, what if we start off from right off the bat comes from uh, Aizawa Makabe, and her what if is what if Kakashi and Obito switch places? Now you see that's a good one. That was one of my favorite ones. Can you imagine that? Like during the Third Ninja War, when they went to, when Kakashi and Obito went to save Rin. So. Instead of the boulder falling on top of Obito, it fell on top of Kakashi. But some of y'all might be wondering, how is that possible? How is that going to happen if Kakashi was already knocked out? Here's what here's why I'm going to think. Here's why I think it went down. After Obito pushed Kakashi out of the way, and he saw me. After well, Obito picked up Kakashi, Kakashi noticed the boulder hitting straight towards them. So knowing what Obito was about to do, Kakashi switched places with him. And the boulder knocked down right in front of Kakashi. Then, said like how Obito faced through the boulder. Somehow, someway, Zetsu came up, took Kakashi with him, and then Kakashi joined up with Madara. After Kikashi, Madara played in like some intel, uh, some dark stuff in him, how like I like it was the it made him rethink about how it was. The, um, the leaf village that forced him, the, the ninja world that forced his father to commit suicide in Kakashi, and then he got, um, then Kakashi gets Madara's shotting gun, so, and Obito becomes Team 7 Sensei. And the same sh happens to Naruto, but it's Kakashi who's doing it instead of Obito this time. So, that one was like, yo, you really have to think about it. Like, that would have been like something totally different, something different, out of the ordinary. But there's a lot of things uh, to think about. Alright, so the next one comes from Christopher Patterson. What if Naruto had became evil when he found out who destroyed his clan? Now, that's another good one. That's another good one, Christopher. That is a dope question because. If you guys remember, the, it was the it was the hidden it was the hidden mist village, the hidden cloud village, and I think it was the, yeah in the village you know, it was Kiri Komoi and I Iwa that destroyed the Uzumaki clan, all three of them. So imagine if Naruto found out. Oh, shut up! Sorry about that. If Naruto found out that he had a clan, but not only that. He found out that the, his clan was destroyed by three villages, and the Leaf Villages did not did nothing to help them. So that's gonna do something to Naruto Seki. Like, say, alright. So Naruto finds this out. He finds out the Leaf Village didn't help his clan. So he decides. So Naruto leaves the village, cursing it, and, and like saying he's gonna get his revenge and stuff like that. Then out of nowhere, <clears throat> he meets up with Obito. And then Obito tells him about his plan to like, to like bring the world to peace. Naruto, I, yeah, probably he might join or might not, but I'm gonna go with he might not, he would not join Obito's plan, saying that he don't care about peace or whatever. He just wants to destroy Kiri, Komoi, and Iwa. So then Obito says, "All right, good." Because we both want to destroy Kiri because Kiri, remember Kiri was the reason why Rin was was killed in the first place because they captured her and forced her to become the Jinjuriki. If they did not happen, Rin would have now jumped in front of Kakashi's lightning blade. So Obito has his own um, hatred for Kiri. So Naruto and Obito join forces and they destroy they destroy Kiri. So that village is gone. Then she just goes by. Naruto trains. He meets different people, he trains under them, he goes stronger, then 
he trains with the uh, Kurama, but he's not the good Kurama. He's the evil Kurama. Like he he's pulling off of the darkness inside Naruto. And <clears throat> well, my voice is cracking up. And he trains Naruto. <clears throat> Hold on, I'll be right back. I need some water. Kurama decides to help Naruto because he's enjoying how Naruto's becoming evil, how he's embracing his hatred, and he wants to destroy everything. So, that's a good one. That What if Naruto really did become evil and that really did happen? Okay, hold on, let me find another one. Alright, here's another one that ties up with, um, it's kind of like what Christopher said. We got one from Anthony De Diaz. What if the Uzumaki clan was still alive and blamed Kon Konoha for not supporting them during the attack? <clears throat> now, I remember I read a fan fiction about this before. But, imagine that. The Uzumaki clan survived the attack by Aiwa, Komoi, and Kiri, and then they realized the Leaf Village did not help them. Did not help them during the attack after they sent message. As the message let them know that they're about to be attacked and we need your help. But the Leaf Village did not come to their aid. <clears throat> so, after they realized that the Leaf Village had just abandoned them, they cut all the ties with the Hidden Leaf and planning to exact their revenge. <coughs> well, my voice is just cracking up. And Kushina never goes to the Leaf Village and never met Minato. So Naruto is like a full, full born, um, full born Uz Uzumaki, and he has their bloodline and everything. So the Uzumaki plan, after years of waiting and planning, they meet up with Orochimaru. Imagine they meet up with Orochimaru. Orochimaru tells them about his plan to destroy the Leaf. This and that with the sound and the <clears throat> Sand Village, the leader of the Uzumaki clan, the leader of the Uzumaki clan agrees with their plan. And <clears throat> destroy, and they ate all eight the, the three villages, Sand, Sound, and Whirlpool, just invade the invade Konoha during the um during the tuning exams, and then the Leaf Village is just destroyed. <clears throat> That's a one possibility that it can happen. Like I said, it could be an awesome. Thing. Like I said, I read a fair thing about that. Uh, I'm looking for one. I'm looking for another good one. Ah! It's the third and final awesome one that I read. And this one comes from Miles Holly. He said, What if Madara killed Hashirama at the Valley of Death? And we all know <clears throat> that Hashirama supposedly killed Madara during their final battle. But we all know how that turned out. What if it was reversed? What if after my dad gave this in all the time speech that Hashirama stabbed him? Hashirama gave his entire speech, but it turned out that the mother that he stabbed was a fake one. Like he just burst into flames like a flame cone or something. The real Madara comes out of nowhere and slashes Hashirama's head off, killing him permanently. Still taking his DNA. Then the Leaf Village just realized they just lost their first Hokage and, I, and Madara is still alive. So Madara pushes his plan forward a little bit earlier than canon. So he sets his plan. So he, he sets Zetsu's plan in motion. A little bit, look, like I said, a little further. A little ahead than canon. And he just. He captures all the tail beasts because remember during that time, when um, Hashirama was the first Okage, tail, there was no such thing as Jinjuriki during that time. Tail beasts were roaming free all, all over the world. <clears throat> so Hashirama, except for um, Kurum, Kurama, because, because Madara took him. So Madara goes to Mito, steals Kurama back from her. Seals him in the ghetto statue, then he goes after the other tail beast and does the same thing. Then Madara's plane is invoked and the power 
the, the power of the the infinite Sukuyomi is activated and Kaguya is reborn and then the whole world, the whole Naruto world is just fucked up. It's just fucked up. It's messed up so bad. Then, after that, it's just over. Like I said, it's just over. There's nothing nobody can do. Kaguya won and it's, it's over. That's it for the ninja world. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching another What If Saga present. And thank you guys for bringing these What Ifs to me. Continue doing that for this one. So, so I'll read them all from you guys. And thank you for watching. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And share this when you share cool stuff. This is your boy, Riding Kagasuchi, and I'm signing off. Peace.